I think the most important value is have the courage of your convictions. Mean what you say, do what you say, and to have a steady hand and a clear vision. And this man has a steady hand. He takes in all the information, he makes a decision, no apologies, and he moves forward. That's what it takes to be a commander in chief in my view. Barack Obama grew up middle class, just like Joe and I grew up middle class, and he understands the problems of the middle class and what a job means and how hardworking people are, and that's why he's made it really the uh, focus of his platform. You heard Governor Romney's insulting comments that 47% of the American people are unwilling to take responsibility for their own lives. These people are our neighbors. We're talking about the 68,000 warriors, as I speak, who are risking their lives right now in Afghanistan, who are paying no income tax on their salary, nor should they pay any income tax. Not everybody knows a military family, but they need to be aware of what military families are going through. And I hear their stories and they, you know, how they struggle. And this is about people's lives. Understand one thing, Barack and I believe as I believe you do, that we only have one sacred obligation as Americans, to equip those we send to war and care for them and their families when they come home. We're gonna keep working for them because they do so much for our country. And with our administration, we're just gonna keep moving forward and uh, they're gonna be our focus. When the parades are over, when the streets are renamed, there's still going to be over 17,000 American warriors who have lasting wounds. We owe them the rest of their lives.